I'll make one last trap red YouTube video today to show you my completed prototype weasel box that I had foregone working on till right now. Here you go. Hope you can see that. Let's see. It's got a uh, one piece top that swings. Here, let me try to hold this so you can see this. It swings basically, the rat traps inside, and it's got a cable attached to it that's anchored outside through that vent hole. And I didn't put any screen on that vent hole on purpose because I want mice to be able to get in there and uh, attack the bait. The bait will go back in here. Yeah, they can nest in there and that will attract the weasel even further. You wanna put your bloody bait back in here and then your uh, trap tag goes on the cable. It's attached outside to the tree and then this uh, top is swung over with a screw. That's the whole box right there. It's, you can see, you gotta put a wire, a screw here, and a wire that goes over to here, and you just, it's just 18 gauge wire. I haven't put it on yet. And, uh, anyways, I don't wanna get my finger in there. So you can see all the way through the box the hole through the other side the vent hole and the trap just sets inside and that's it you've got uh, <clears throat> seven screws in the front and you've got seven in the back you got one holding the top on and Keep that trap from falling all the way over and snapping. You have ten screws on the bottom of this weasel box. Now this can be hung up, like I says, vertically. You just want them to be able to mount. <clears throat> if you can operate it vertically, what you're going to want to do. So you're probably going to want to put this uh, trigger system a little different, which can be easily accomplished. I'll show you. <clears throat> Hold on a second, because I don't want to snap my hand on this trap. Okay, take it outside. Just put this down for a minute up against here so you can see what's going on. Hopefully. This juggling operation is what it is. Okay, so you've got this basically live loaded trap now. It's dangerous. Grab it, snap it. You're gonna take your trigger mechanism. If you want to run this plate vertically, the best way to do it is right here, like this. Then you attach it like such. Okay, now it's set up for vertical operation. What you're going to want to do is put this in here, down, and I'll tip this box up so you can see it. Let's see. like such and then you would have this tensioned out in such a fashion that it could hang like this up the bait the bait would be dangling from down in here as well and once the doors once the uh, covers closed of course the weasel has only one option is to get into box through here and he'll trigger the trap 
So that's how that pretty much will work. You could hang it up in a tree like this or on a leaning pole. Leaning pole sets are good, like such, you know. Just we'll wire it on a leaning pole. Uh, <clears throat> Technically, if you can fit a killer trap in here, and I don't know, you need a narrow one because this is only. I don't believe this is uh, this is not uh, wide enough to accept a standard killer trap. So it would have to either be a very narrow killer trap, the smallest they make, or I'm going to make these boxes wider with the uh, seven inch cedar which should accept all the killer traps. Six inch, uh, the, the one tens up to the one sixties. And that will be the next project. This is just a weasel box, but I haven't, uh, like I says, I have not tried to fit any kind of, uh, of the small killer traps in there. They might be able to fit. I don't know yet. So that's it pretty much. Here's another look of the trap that's set into the weasel box vertically Here's a picture from a different angle okay so I get further along on this project I'll get back with you. this is trap Beret, another YouTube video